Turn your ear, O Lord, and answer me. Save the servant who trusts in you, my God. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers, your faith has been a great comfort to us in the middle of our own so troubles and sorrows. Now we can breathe again, as you are still holding firm in the Lord. How can we thank God enough for you, for all the joy we feel before our God on your account? We are earnestly praying, night and day, to be able to see you face to face again, and make up any shortcomings in your faith. May God our Father himself and our Lord Jesus Christ make it easy for us to come to you. May the Lord be generous in increasing your love and make you love one another and the whole human race as much as we love you. And may he so confirm your hearts in holiness that you may be blameless in the sight of our God and Father when our Lord Jesus Christ comes with all his saints. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. You turn men back into dust, and say, go back, sons of men. To your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday come and gone, no more than a watch in the night. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Make us know the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, we land is your anger forever. Show pity to your servants. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exult and rejoice all our days. Let the favour of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Be watchful and ready, for you know not when the Son of Man is coming. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Stay awake, because you do not know the day when your master is coming. You may be quite sure of this, that if the householder had known 
at what time of the night the burglar would come. He would have stayed awake and would not have allowed anyone to break the wall of his house. Therefore, you too must stand ready, because the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. What sort of servant then is faithful and wise enough for the master to place him over his household, to give them their food at the proper time. Happy that servant, if his master's arrival finds him at this employment. I tell you solemnly, he will place him over everything he owns. But as for the dishonest servant who says to himself, my master is taking his time, and sets about beating his fellow servants, and eating and drinking with drunkards, his master will come on a day he does not expect, and at an hour he does not know. The master will cut him off, and send him to the same fate as the hypocrites, where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. To God the Father Almighty, dear brothers and sisters, may every prayer of our heart be directed, for his will it is that all humanity should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. For the Holy Church of God, that the Lord may graciously watch over her and care for her. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For the peoples of all the world, that the Lord may graciously preserve harmony among them. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For all who are oppressed by any kind of need, that the Lord may graciously grant them relief. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer for ourselves and our own community, that the Lord may graciously receive us as a sacrifice acceptable to himself. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. O God, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayers of your church. For you yourself are the source of all devotion, and grant, we pray, that what we ask in faith we may truly obtain through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless and protect us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.